everybody let's jump into files and photos here very cool feature in contractor foreman uh, and one thing just to touch base on when we start remember that wherever you load a document or a photo uh, into contractor foreman whether it's a daily log uh, say the picture of the expense uh, receipt uh, or some backup documentation for a change order uh, wherever you load that up, it's always going to stay with that record. Um, so it'll always be there. But many times you've got to want to go back and maybe find a file. You, you loaded it a year ago and, well, I know I took a picture. I know I loaded that up. I just don't remember where it is. So we have this files and photos. And what this is, this is your central repository or your library of all of your files and photos. So let's jump in there and take a look. And what contract reforming is going to do is as you create a new job, it's going to list that job. So here's all my projects. But like I said earlier, I took that picture a year ago. Don't really remember, but I think I kind of do. So I'm going to hit apply filter. And I can look for my files and photos by, by customer, by project, filter by tag or by module. Filter by file extension. Hey, I know that it was a DOC file or a DOCX, so that's all I need. Now it'll pull everything up. I can do show all files and I can do a keyword search. So lots of ways to pull that back up. Go ahead and reset that. And so we can also email, which I'll touch base on, and we can upload files right from here. So I can just, I don't have to go into a module. Maybe I'm uploading bulk pictures, and this is a great way to do it. So I'm just going to hit Upload Files, tell it where I'm going to upload it, grab all my files, and, and boom, I'm done. But let's go ahead and jump into an actual project, and I'll show you how it creates those, uh, automatically creates the folders for you. So I'm going to click on HVAC System Project here. It's going to create a list of folders for all the different modules that you're going to load files or photos into. However, maybe there you need a different one. So you've got a new folder button here for one. So if I click on that, now I can name that and create a new folder. Or as an example, I can come into my daily logs and I might want to create a subfolder here. So now I just create new folder there and I'll have created my new subfolder. So it's going to automatically place everything where it needs to go. You've got that, you, you've got the search to go back and find that file. And then if I'm going to email some files or upload files, but I'll, I'll here we'll click upload files. So where am I loading it to? I'm going to tag it, grab the files here, date and time again for tracking and finding it later. Got a spot for a notes and then you can create your file name. And for emailing the files, I'm just going to select email file, come down here and put a checkbox in anything that I want to email out, and just hit send email. It'll ask me where I want to send it. Let me type up the email message, um, and it's out the door. So it's just a very handy way without having to do a lot of extra work. Every big thing is that it builds consistency. Everything is going to be in the same spot uh, each and every time, so everybody knows where everything is and, and how to go in and find it. So thanks, everybody. Hope that helped.